Hi everybody, it's teacher Denise, and today I want to read you Jabari Jumps. Um, when thinking about books that you choose with preschoolers, um, I like to think about books that have social and emotional themes to them. Um, this one is about a little boy who wants to jump off the diving board, but he feels scared. Books like this are great for helping kids figure out how to handle difficult situations. So probably every child has been in a situation where they felt a little bit scared. And when they were in that situation, perhaps the scared feelings um, were so strong that they had a hard time uh, problem solving and thinking about how they were gonna get through that. So reading a book where the character goes through something gives the child a little bit of distance from the problem and they can see how the character in the story handles the problem without being um, distracted or uh, overwhelmed by their own um, hard feelings. So um, hopefully when the child um, faces a scary situation in the future, they can um, draw a little bit of um, strength or inspiration from the way that Jabari handles his fear um, and uh, hopefully be able to handle their fear better too. All right, so this is Jabari Jumps and it's by Gia Cornwall. All right, so there's Jabari, and I can tell he is on his way to go swimming. I see his goggles, I see him putting on his swimsuit. Oh, and it looks like he's going to the pool with his dad and his sister. I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really, said his dad. The diving board was high and maybe a little scary, but Jabari had finished his swimming lessons and passed his swim test, and now he was ready to jump. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari, so I'm not scared at all. Jabari's going into this feeling very confident about himself. He knows he can swim, he feels brave. Well, Jabari watched the other kids climb the long ladder. They walked all the way out to the end of the board, as big as tiny bugs. Must be really far away. Then they stood on the edge. They spread their arms and bent their knees and sprang up, 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 and then they dove down, down, down. Splash! Oh, looks easy, Jabari said. But when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. Sometimes when I'm feeling a little nervous, it does make me feel better to hold on to somebody and squeeze them and feel them squeeze back. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder. He looked up. Mm, you can go before me if you want, he told the kid behind him. I need to think about what special kind of jump I'm going to do. Jabari thought and thought and thought. So I noticed that at first Jabari was at the front of the line. But then he let the other kids go in front of him until there was no one else wanting to jump off before him. Jabari started to climb up and up. This ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay? called his dad. I'm just a little tired, said Jabari. Maybe you should climb down and take a tiny rest, said his dad. A tiny rest sounded like a good idea. So Jabari's not feeling so sure, and he's not sure he's ready. Hannah's gonna join me for the story. Jabari's not sure he's ready to go all the way up the ladder, ladder so he takes a rest. When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. Oh, I forgot to do my stretches, he told his dad. Oh, stretching is very important, said his dad. So Jabari stopped and he did his stretches. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, Jabari said. They looked up at the diving board together. How's Jabari feeling? He's feeling a little nervous. A little nervous about going on the diving board. He's, he's it's taller than him on his back. Yeah, it is. Even when he's on his dad's shoulder, it's hard. It's taller than that. So he's thinking maybe not today, maybe on another day. Mm -hmm. And that would be okay, huh? Mm -hmm. He can still be brave. 
It's okay to feel a little sad. Or, I'm sorry, it's okay to feel a little scared, said his dad. Sometimes, if I feel a little scared, I take a deep breath and tell myself I am ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and feels a little like a surprise. Well, Jabari loves surprises. Okay, so Jabari is feeling a little nervous. His dad tells him that sometimes when he feels scared, he takes a deep breath and tells himself that he's ready. You want to try it? And ready. And he says that sometimes it stops feeling scary and feels like a surprise. Mm -hmm. So maybe instead of anxiety, you start to get curious. Jabari took a deep breath and felt it fill his body from the ends of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. There he is taking his deep breath. Jabari looked up. He began to climb up and up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight. He walked all the way to the end of the board. How would you feel if this was you? Never. I've gone off a diving board before, but it wasn't that high. It wasn't that high. But the water was very deep. I might feel jittery if I were up that high. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I have been on something that high. Mm -hmm. Jabari's toes curled around the rough edge. I like this view. I, I feel like I am Jabari looking down into the pool, standing up here, looking down at my feet. I see the diving board and I see the whole pool down below. In fact, I see there's Jabari's dad, dad and his sister, his sister waiting for him. Jabari looked out as far as he could see. He felt like he was ready. I love surprises, he whispered. I like this view too. Jabari, I can tell that Jabari lives in the city. Um, mm -hmm. Looks like there's a bridge in the background and a lot of big uh, buildings. And when Jabari's high up, he has that great perspective to be able to see the whole city. Because when people are down low like them, they can't see it. Yeah, that's right, because the, the trees and the buildings would be blocking. But Jabari is up above those things. Jabari took a deep breath and spread his arms and bent his knees. Then he sprang up, up off the board, flying. How do you think he's feeling? Happy. I see a smile on his face. When I'm in situations like this, I feel like a mix of excited and happy and still kind of scared feels a little bit out of control when it happens. Mm -hmm. Jabari hit the water with the, the splash. I like this illustration too. The water flies up everywhere. Down, down, down he went, and then back up. Whoosh. He just did something that he was scared to do. How do you think he feels now? Really happy and not scared. Maybe even like exhilarated, excited that he did it. Jabari, you did it, said his dad. I did it, said Jabari. I'm a great jumper. And you know what? What, said his dad. Look at the way that they're celebrating. He did something big. It was a big deal. And he did it. Jabari says, a surprise double backflip is next. <laughs> so that now that Jabari knows that he can do it and that he's brave enough to jump off. He did another one. Yeah, he's ready to try things out. He's ready to do some different stuff. All right, so that was Jabari Jumps by Gia Cornwall. And it's a good one for talking about how we handle fear. All right, see you guys later. Bye.